as of 2022, the weekly rent cost is... So in this video, I wanted to talk about the cost of council tax and the cost of utility bills. So this is just as not only a renter, but a social housing tenant. I recently received my council tax bill for the 2023 to 2024 period. And the reason I received it mid-July versus mid-March, I think is when you usually receive it to start in April is because I've been exempt from paying council tax for the last three years. That ended at the end of July. So I will be liable to pay my council tax again starting the 1st of September. So my flat is in council tax band A, which is the lowest. So the cheapest council tax is within this band. And the 2023 to 24 council tax for this band at this property is for £1,174.60 with an exemption value of £388.32. And that includes a 25% single person discount because I live alone. So that consists of one monthly payment of £114.28 and six monthly payments of £112 because it's spread over only seven months. It's generally spread over 10 months, usually from April to January the following year. And then you have about two months of not paying any council tax. Now let's talk about utility bills. The building I live in has a communal boiler. So us tenants that live here aren't required to pay for gas. In this particular property, gas generally covers the heating costs when i first moved into my flat my electric was really cheap it was costing me about five pounds a week and once i assessed how much electric i used i just started topping up 25 pounds a month fast forward to today my electric has tripled since then it had even more than tripled at one point but it's back to approximately 15 pounds a week so 60 pounds a month so my current water bill for the 2023 to 24 period is the 342 pounds and 59 pence, which equals one monthly payment of 31 pounds 19 and 11 monthly payments of 31 pounds and 14 pence. So that's it. That's my council tax and utility bills. So we're going to give you a little summary of the total cost that I pay for rent and service charge council tax and utility bills, which comes to a total of approximately £670 a month. I've said approximately because, you know, there could be a few pounds or pence here and there where it's a bit off, but under £700 a month is what I pay. Just remember, it doesn't include any additional personal consumption expenses. So this is solely the price to rent the property and use the facilities within it.